Hey guys, this is Nicole from Skagway, Alaska, and one of you guys asked a question about the grocery store and what's it like to get groceries here. So I wanted to take you to our grocery store. This is the Fairway Market behind me, and today is actually Monday. Um, kind of crazy situation here in Skagway is that our barge comes in with our food once a week, which is on Tuesday, and it's actually uh, going to be late this week, so it will be here on Wednesday, um, but you'll just see how um, decimated our food selection is by this time in the week. So when our when the barge comes in on Tuesday, if you don't get to the grocery store by Friday and get your groceries, you're not gonna get very much, especially um, produce and milk and eggs and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys in the grocery store so you can see what it's like here in Skagway. So the first thing you'll notice in the grocery store here is that we have a Costco selection. So they get groceries from Costco and they sell it here in our grocery store um, at a much greater price than probably what you're accustomed to. So I just wanted to show you a couple of the items. $25 for a big bag of nuts and almonds. Um, so yeah, this is the first section you come to when you get into our grocery store. This is what's left of the bread selection. I kind of equate it to when I lived in Florida and there was like a hurricane. There was no bread or water or any of that kind of stuff left on the shelves. It's kind of like that every week here in Skagway. Um, you'll notice here, 12 pack of soda, $10.49. So when you're a soda drinker like myself, that becomes very spendy. This is the meat selection. And remember what I said about the produce selection, because it's been a week since the barge has been here, there is not much left in here. So you're in luck if you want potatoes. If you want much more than that, there's not gonna be much available. You might be wondering about some prices of some items for a slice of watermelon, $8.04. One of the questions we get asked a lot is how much is a gallon of milk? So actually, look at that, it's only $6.99. I think it was like $8 at some point, so it's quite the bargain. No eggs left in the grocery store. This is one of the things that blows my mind. I believe this bag of Kirkland, which is Costco hamburgers, is about $41. So much cheaper to get your own ground beef and make hamburgers yourself. Cost of a frozen pizza can range from about $7 to about $14. Not bad considering a pizza in this town usually runs about 30 bucks if you go to a restaurant. So frozen is a good option. As you can see, there are some things that are quite spendy here and you really have to um, plan what you're gonna get from the grocery store the day that you go you can't just say hey I want this for dinner tonight because you never know what you're gonna get at the grocery store so you just go to the grocery store and say what do they have that's what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight um, we do have some other options for getting groceries here um, you can get some items through Amazon it's not gonna get here overnight it's gonna be more like seven to ten days um, we also sometimes will order groceries from um, on Instacart from Fred Meyer in Juneau, and then it gets delivered to the airport there, and then it gets sent to us on seaplanes, and we pay a freight charge for that. Uh, some people will order a big Costco order and have it sent up on the barge. So you just kind of make do. You try to figure out the, the ways that you can cut costs when you can, and to stock up on things that you can. Sometimes we, if we have the time, we also will go up to Canada um, and go to Whitehorse, which is about a two hour drive, and load up on groceries that way too. Um, so it really just depends on the time that we have um, and what we need and we just try to stock up um, and do the best that we can. So that's grocery shopping here in Alaska.